Hello. Huh? Look. Oh. I'm Possum. Hello. Hello everyone. Look at the lovely breakfast I've made for me and Possum. Possum should be here soon. Oh. It looks like I have time to clean those dirty windows on the door. I'll clean the outside after breakfast. Water is very useful. You can use it for many different things. I'm using water to boil my eggs. I'm using water to make my tea. And there is water in the bucket, and that helps me clean the windows. It's great. Well, my eggs are ready. Everything's ready. Where's Possum? He's taking his time. Hmm. Ah. <gasps> Good morning, everybody. Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? It rained last night. But there are no puddles. There should be puddles. Hmm. Oh. That's dry too. Oh well, I'm off to have breakfast with Sally. Oh. Huh? <gasps> it rained just in that little spot there. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ah. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Sally, is it ready? Yes, it's ready. I've been waiting for you to get here before I started to eat it. Ah, sorry, Sally. Last night I thought it had rained. But when I woke up this morning, there were no puddles. But I found one spot where it did rain. One spot only where it rained, nowhere else. Yeah. I didn't think it rained at all, Possum. I put my head out the door earlier and I couldn't see any water. Anyway, look at it boiling. It's bubbling away. Bubbling? Where's it going? Well, Possum, Underneath, the element heats up, and that heats the water and makes it bubble, and then it turns into steam. Like when I was cooking my eggs before. The element heats the water up, and it bubbles, and those bubbles become steam. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, look. The bubbles become steam. Ah. Oh, look at all the steam. It's because it's hot. Careful. Well, our breakfast is ready. Shall we eat? Yes, please. Oh. Ah. was delicious. Mm, that was delicious. Mm -mm. I think we've finished our breakfast. I need to go outside and wash the windows. Would you like to help me? Oh yes. Let's go. <gasps> Possum, what happened? All the water in my bucket is gone. Where did it go? I know, it is very strange. Last night it rained, but only in that one spot and nowhere else. No, Possum, it didn't rain. I filled this bucket up using the kitchen tap. I needed to use the water to wash the windows and then I put it outside. Possum, have you ever seen it rain in just one spot and nowhere else? Hmm. No, I haven't, Sally. But I'm a bit confused. Where does rain come from? Hmm. I know. Remember we watched the kettle boiling and watched the bubbles bubble away and become steam. Yeah. Well, the same principle applies out here. When you've got the damp ground, the moisture evaporates up into the air, into the sky, and they become clouds. And when the clouds get heavy, it rains. Aha! Sally, is it like a sponge? Look, I'll show you. <gasps> ah! Yes, that's like a cloud possum. When it gets full, it rains. Sally, I thought it had rained last night. It would be great to know how much rain we had. Well, there is something that we can use. It's called a rain gauge. And it can tell us how much rain there has been. It catches the water and you use the ruler on the side to measure how much rain has fallen. Oh, that'd be great to see how much rain had fallen. Yeah. Would you like to make one, Possum? Yes, please. Let's go inside. OK. Look, we've got everything we need to make a rain gauge. And that will tell us how much rain we get. Oh, great! Can you get the instructions out, please? OK. These are our instructions. And this will explain to us how we make our rain gauge. We have all the things we need. Are you ready? Yeah. First, we need to get the bottle. Can you get that for me, please? OK. Now we'll use a piece of paper to wrap around it. And then we'll put a black line around it so that we know it's straight. Can you do that for me, please? Yeah. OK. See, we have our black line. 
Yeah. Now we're going to cut the top off. I'll start it because the knife is very sharp. But then you can cut it with the scissors. OK. Careful. Oh, it's sharp. Just cut along the line. OK. Good. Great. That's great. Now, you can see it's uneven at the bottom. Yeah. It's got all these ridges. We need the bottom to be flat. So we're going to use plasticine. Oh. Can you break some bits off and put them in the bottom, please? Now it's nice and even. Yeah, it is even. Now it's level. To measure the rain, we'll use a ruler. Can you find zero on that for me? Right there. Great. We'll put zero right on where the plasticine line is. Can you please get some sticky tape so we can tape it together. Oh, OK. Ooh. That's great. Now we need to add the lid. Oh. No, not like that, Possum. Can you please take the lid off? No, the other way around. Oh, there you go. This is to make sure that leaves and other things don't fall into the rain gauge. We need to tape it together to make sure it stays on. I think we're finished. Yeah, we're finished. Well, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to take it outside and wait for the rain to come. Yeah, OK. Let's go. Just put it here, Possum. <gasps> Good timing. It looks like it might rain soon. Sally, I thought it was strange it only rained in one spot and nowhere else. But now I'll know how much it has rained. Why don't we watch some children learning about the weather? Shall we do that? Yeah, let's watch.
was great. Oh, Possum, look. It's starting to rain. Oh. Wait. Oh, I was going to put it in my tree, Sally, because I didn't want it to get wet. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Possum. Uh, I'm just joking. Well, our time is up. Oh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.